So for this unit, um, I've, I think every unit is very interesting, but this one is, I, I think, my favorite so far just because you get to see the different movements and how each movement you can see how the artist will be influenced by every event and you can see the timeline in each movement as well so for the question um, that the professor asked how can these separate art movements be categorized to produce a more comprehensive understanding of the big picture of this time period well, my answer to that will be the movements can be categorized by events that influence each movement. Sorry if I'm repeating myself, but meaning every movement has something that influenced them during that time. And for me, one of them that caught my attention was the social realism movement. And you can see that these artists were very influenced in all the events that were going through those years and one example that i have is the american tragedy um, painting by philip everwood and you can see on the bottom right how there's a few cops on your right side and then a few workers on the left side and if you guys don't know this was take taking place in the south um Chicago's Republic Steel Plant where they were unionizing and you can see how the workers are armed and um, you can also see how the cops are also armed and attacking the workers. You can kind of also see how the cops are shooting against the workers and what happened there was um, 10 cops actually or a few workers were killed by a few cops or a few policemen and they also injured a hundred others so you can see how this artist here was able to show what was going on in that year by just one simple painting and which I think that's how you can categorize each movement is by every event. You can see how they were influenced. Hopefully that's understandable. <laughs> and on the second question, in your opinion, what are these shared themes or patterns that define this area era? I think union within the civilians, um, civilians, I'm sorry, you can see how every picture is basically for us, for the people during those times that um, in that you can see that these artists were wanting to show you, look, this is what's happening in each picture. You can tell um, by what they have painted. And my two questions for you guys is one of them what is one different way of how we express our thoughts and concerns as civilians versus how they express themselves so them or they being the artists um in each movement and then also is art as inf is art still as influencing as it was before now and that is it thank you